Hello Aquarius, this is going to be your reading for December 16th through the 31st, 2021. Welcome back subscribers, welcome if you are new. This is for any placement of Aquarius. I will go through um, what I saw for you guys when I was tech checking in with your energy clairvoyantly, and then I will pull some cards and, and oracle cards and tarot cards uh, to clarify any messages and bring through anything else that you are um, to know for this time period. Also, I am a master energy therapist and a clairvoyant psychic reader and healer. If you are uh, curious about either of those, the link below to my website, all the information is there for you. I do offer 15% discount off your very first session with me, so you can absolutely take advantage of that. Okay, so Aquarius, when I was tuning in with your energies for the remainder of the year, it was really interesting. I oddly saw you really using this as a time to become more studious and to really tune in with yourself and to spend more time um, reading and studying and going over maybe the things that you've learned this year, the things that you are still learning, um, and just really connecting in with yourself in regards to that. Um, I do see you excited for the holiday, but it's more so you're excited for this shift in energy, you know, the beautiful shift in energy that happens when one year closes and a new year opens. And I, I kind of was seeing that for you because this year has been so hugely transformative for you on so many different levels that you're kind of in this space now where you're like winding down the end of the year, you're going over all the things that you've studied, you're noticing how much you've grown, and you're just really ready to uh, move into this new energy period. So it's kind of like wrapping up the end of the year. Um, it, the holiday is important to you, but it's more so about this shift of energy, which I thought was really, really beautiful to witness in that. Um, I also see you really craving like fresh air right now. So if you can, um, for the remainder of the year, get yourself outside, um, Feel the fresh air, breathe in deeply into your lungs, feel the wind on your skin. It's like you're just really wanting to connect in with that air element um, and the winds of change, so to say. So that's going to be really important for you. So hopefully the weather is not too freezing cold and you're able to just get out and really um, enjoy the freshness and that fresh energy that like wind can bring and just fresh air uh, can really bring for you because your soul is craving that and will crave that. Um, I also saw a really beautiful clear image of you like lacing up your shoes or tying your shoes. And to me, I, I really interpreted that as you're like really um, tying up those loose ends and ready to move forward into this next chapter, this next phase, this next year. So it's like you've done the work, the shoes are on, you've tied double knots, and you are so ready to move forward step by step by step by step um, into the new year and closing out this year. So just it was a really... Um, interesting way that you showed me that you are very ready uh, for what's to come and where where you're headed. For those of you with a specific person, it was really fascinating. I could see that um, for those of you that do have a specific person, the connection is there. They are very present around you. Their energy is very present in your space, but your focus right now is not so much on the relationship. Um, so you're not like truly, truly like so focused on love right now. You are more focused on your individual journey, um, what this year has meant for you. And um, it was interesting because I don't see that really affecting the relationship. It's just something that you need and this is where you're at. So for those of you who are a cross watcher, just be mindful that your Aquarius may be a little bit more um, focused on the individual self at this time. And it's not that they're not interested in you. I do see the connection there. I do see, you know, your energies are still very much um, intertwined and connected, but the focus is just a little bit different. So the cross watcher, you may be more focused on love and your Aquarius, but your Aquarius is really more focused on the energetic shifting and changing that is happening as this year wraps up. 
that was like really, really um, interesting to see. For those of you who are single, there is a similar message. You're just really focused on the self right now, Aquarius. So I do see you being active and social and meeting new people and just being out and about um, when you need to for social gathering or family get togethers and things like that. Um, I'm not really seeing a, a true desire to dive deep um, with somebody new that you might be uh, might meet or a new uh, love interest or perspective a prospect excuse me coming in for you that's just not going to be kind of where you're at so with that you may make some really beautiful connections and some new acquaintances um, that could possibly have the potential for love and for a relationship, but you're not even really going to look at that right now. So that would be something that it will be interesting to see what happens come like January and February um, and how that shifts for you. So really the main focus is on um, just this huge shift in energy and how much you have grown and been through this year. So actually I'm going to let me just get an overall energy out here for you. But that is what I was seeing for you clairvoyantly. Now let's get some cards out here. Okay, your overall energy, Aquarius, is the grasshopper spirit. Take a leap of faith. Oh, I love that. You know, because you're moving into this new chapter and this like new phase in this new year, I can totally see you guys taking a leap of faith because you've gotten so strong within yourself that um, I think you'll be more likely to do that and to take advantage of that, which is also why your focus is just on you and what it is that you want and need right now. Okay, Aquarius, we got all the cards out here. First up, we've got three of swords, five of wands, ten of pentacles. Um, this is really, really neat to see these three cards together because a lot of what I was seeing for you is you're like reminiscing what this year has been for you, what you've gone through, what you've overcome, how much you have grown. So I kind of feel this is a message of maybe you've had a lot of this type of energy in this this year leading up to this point, but you've gotten to a place where you are so much more healed, so much more connected with yourself, so much more clear of what it is that you truly want and the direction that you're going in your life, Aquarius. So this is huge confirmation um, of the growth that you have accomplished in this year. That could be why at a soul level, you feel just so ready for this um, kind of change of energy and change into the new year and a fresh start. Next up, we've got four of pentacles, seven of pentacles, and the moon card. So this is speaking directly with you being okay with spending more time with yourself right now, being more studious, being protective of your time and energy. Although I do see you being social and out there, you're going to really maintain balance with that. And you're going to be mindful of who you're spending your time with, your resources and your precious energy. And with the seven of pentacles here, it's like, this is the deep wisdom coming through for you that you've done the work, you've planted the seeds, you've, you know, accomplished what you have this year. And these last couple weeks of the year are really about just reaping the rewards on, um, you know, harvesting what it is that you have planted. There's not a lot of need for big action steps right now. It's more of a time of like reflecting um, and being really proud of yourself, Aquarius. So that's what I'm hearing is to make sure that you acknowledge yourself for how much you have grown this year. The moon card, that is your deeper hidden uh, wishes and desires. So um, you could have a little bit of fear and anxiety coming up around this shift into the new year. And I'm seeing that because you've grown and shifted so much. So it's like moving in, even though you're very excited for this new energy coming in, there may be some last little bit of... Um, like anxieties or fears that you need to get out of the way, but I, I'm not seeing that for a lot of you. For a lot of you, you feel very peaceful and very ready. So this moon card could really be talking about how you are on the path of your deeper desires and wishes and nothing is going to stop you from that. All right. And then this is really interesting, Aquarius. We've got the tower 
the Ten of Swords and the Sun card in the middle. Wow. This is like, all I hear is mind blowing. So the Tower card and the Ten of Swords is a huge epiphany realization, um, an ending. It could be literally the shifting of um, the amount of ego or personality that is in your space and really softening up to that. And with the Tower and the Ten of Swords, these are both very powerful cards around endings and change. So you are, this is kind of tuning into what I was seeing with you of why you're so ready for this change of energy and this new phase and chapter. You're leaving behind a lot of what this energy has been for you this past year. And there has been a lot of this, a lot of growth, a lot of epiphanies, probably some hard lessons that the Ten of Swords tends to bring through. But regardless, the Ten of Swords here is about no longer feeling taken advantage of or no longer feeling underappreciated. So you're, you're bringing in all that wisdom around you and you're allowing the shadow parts of yourself to be um, highlighted and to come into view and you're um, connecting with that within yourself, not from a place of judgment, but from a place of acceptance which is so, so powerful, Aquarius. And in, in regards to, you know, the relationship, for those of you who are in a relationship, it's like you're doing the work so that you really can show up for your, your specific person as this type of energy, and you can also receive that back from them. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Leo. I'm also seeing Cancer energy out here and a lot of Earth. So you could be dealing with um, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. But what is this Tower card for you? This is a, a an epiphany, a paradigm shift, a like huge aha moment. And I don't see that it's going to be like a, na a truly negative thing for you because it is paired here with the Sun, which brings happiness, joy, and expansion. So whatever this tower card is, I see it as like these last little bits just falling away um, from you that you no longer need, these last bits and pieces that you no longer need to carry with you into the new year. So let them fall away, Aquarius. Uh, let the transformation happen. You're, you're so, so um, supported right now with that. Okay, let me see if there's any other message for you. All right, Aquarius, here it is, new love. So I did mention that you will be meeting some new people, although love is not going to be your focus. Um, it may be the connection that could grow into it come January, February, something like that. I'm also seeing this as a message of like, a new love within yourself and within your journey and within your life and where you're at. So you're moving out of this year into um, 2022 just with a new love within you and around you. So for some of you, it could be literal new love. You are meeting somebody during um, this social kind of holiday season um, that has the potential to grow. You may not be focused on that right now, but the connection will be made. And I kind of love that you're just going to let it naturally kind of flow and move forward without any pressure. Okay, let me see what your spirit animal message is. Beautiful, Aquarius. You've got the goose, inner knowing. You are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry, you are blessed. You let yourself fly. Absolutely beautiful, Aquarius. This is the type of energy that I see you moving into the new year with. Um, you know, with the winds of change on the wings here. Like just leaving behind what you no longer need. Um, really coming in on just such a fresh energy stamp. And I think this is really, really a powerful message um, to end with. So I truly hope this <clears throat> resonates with you. If not, no worries. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, really any placement <clears throat> Excuse me, of Aquarius. 
So feel free to watch any of the other placements. Thank you for the thumbs up and also your comments below the video. I do love reading those. And if you missed um, kind of the beginning, I am a clairvoyant psychic reader and healer, and I also am a distance um, energy therapist. So I specialize in both of those. The links below uh, will take you to my website that have all the information for you. I do offer a 15% discount for your very first healing session with me. So. I hope that is helpful for you. I am wishing you beautiful, wonderful holidays and a, a, a great finish to 2021 Aquarius. And I will see you back here for the first half of January readings. Take care.